Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Hug Zulu, and my little bouncing brain and face monster pet playing Terraria 1.3. My minion dudes actually seem to have taken a rest because, oh boy, we spent a large portion of last night recovering our map. And it seems like I even got some new little extra pockets of the caves that we haven't even explored yet. So, that's always good. As you know, in the previous episode, there was a horrible visual glitch that was probably caused by my r computer restarting and my world didn't quite save correctly. Or at least the map didn't. Well, in this one, uh, there's something I want to show you because I was exploring the jungle, right? Not only did I find a lot of beehives, but I found this. I know it's hard to see, but this green stuff, it looks strange. And they look like living wood leaves. And the way I see it, they could just be the living rich mahogany that we see here from these wands. The, which is when I was going to build one of these houses out of. I would like to actually go take a look at that. Alrighty, my peeps. Summon onwards. We have work to do. A summoner's work is never truly done until the world is safe from destruction. Oh, and uh... Along the way, I found the uh, I found Tim and the nymph. I wish I would have gotten that on camera, but I beat him. And the nymph dropped a uh, a metal detector, which is what we needed to create the goblin tech. So it's going to display our movement speed, damage per second, and valuable ore. So yeah, that's always cool. I'm sure there was some, there's some other stuff I missed along the way too, but it doesn't really matter too much right now. Let's go for science. But, Uxulu, said Slime, this isn't quite for science, this is kind of for the sake of saving the world. Oh yeah, that too, I guess. Ah, you know I'm just messing with you. Have a hug. Hug. You're all so adorable. Every last one of you are like cuties. You're so adorable. Cute cuties. Yes, that's exactly what you are. As well, more like... Yes, Huggables. I could call you the Huggables. Or, yeah, Huggables is great. Because you're so Huggable. Look at you, you're so tiny. You're so cute. And you're Huggable. That, that's all that really needs to be said. Come on. Oh. On that note, let's go and hug that mysterious green stuff that we see in the jungle down there. Huh. It's a jungle down there. Well, that doesn't sound dodgy at all. All I gotta do is stand here. And... Oops. Stupid thing. And my minion buddies will take care of everything. Also, I give a very special thanks to the Knight's Edge for lighting up all these darn caves for me. Gosh darn it. That was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna dig here. Oops, darn it. I accidentally killed Grubby. Sorry, Grubby. It's gonna be okay. I'm here with you. Till the very end. The very bitter end. I wonder how these hornets feel, still shooting at their own kin. It's only for the greater good, said the hornets. After all, these creatures are still corrupted by the evil of this land. We cannot let them be that way. Hmm. If you say so. And we still have the bees of the Queen Bees monarchy. Hello. See, look. It looks like chlorophyte, but it's not chlorophyte. I don't want to dig through it because it could be valuable. Okay, that looks like a special kind of wood. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to dig around it. If that's possible. Let's be very, very cautious. A 
slime doing? Okay. 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 This is probably going to be a big tree. I don't know why it's completely submerged under the freaking ground like this. It's funny because our world did not have any living woods, and I didn't even realize how depressed it made me because we didn't freaking have any. But it is okay because now we have living rich mahogany. Who needs living wood anyway? Yeah. That's a sluggy. I should probably go catch him. Hey, sluggy. More torches. Always good. Alright. We are making our way over this darn tree. At least I think it's a tree. It looks like a tree. Wait, is, is there something over there? There most certainly is. Oh, what the heck? Is that more living wood? What in the heck is going on here? I have never dealt with such a strange phenomenon. Ah, darn it. Mother Slam killed a sluggy. Let's rough him up, boys. What in the heck? This tree is looking stranger the more we look at it. I'm not quite sure how to deal with this. Oh hey. That was a gold rush right there. Let's just clear out this area. Because there could be something in here. Unless I'm going too far. I think I'm going too far now. Now let's not overextend. That never works for anybody. There's another gold rush. Well, I'm happy. 15 gold. Darn, that's like worth more than a mimic. Okay, so the jungle ends just about here. So I see a lot of stone. Let's be, uh... Let's be cautious of where we're going. Mindful, shall we say. Hey, there's a cabin made of rich mahogany. We already have water walking boots. Night Owl Potion, I'll take that. And I'll store it for later, too. Hmm. I can hardly see down here. More torches, I'll take it. What the heck is that? Ooh, that's Tim. A painting of Tim, I'll take it. Ah, thank ya. Anything else in here? Except for one of those dastardly dark traps. If that made any sense. Anyway. More gold. Gosh darn. Oh, gosh darn. Rather. Excuse me. Alright then. Oh. What the heck? This place is very strange. I guess there's a chest in here. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, that could have been better. That is pretty much shrine tier stuff. We already have this. Not complaining, though. It's a pretty tree. Or should I say, it's a pretty tree. <laughs> what to do? Oh, yeah. There's probably... Yeah, there's more down there, I see. Uh-huh. Don't think I can't see you. Man, that's a really good trap right there. I freaking... There's nowhere to run. Okay, now I can see better. Nature's Gifts. I believe I already picked one up when I was... Exploring the jungle. 
last night. on, you know, accessories. Yeah, let's just cover that up. Just like the government's covering up the fact that they're all reptiles. I mean, come on. Why else do you think Luna Temple exists? Okay, what the heck? Okay, that's a tree root, right? We don't want to harm the tree root because it's so precious and stuff. Yeah, neither are you serious. Oh, I'm out of air. Thank you. Much better. Alright, recharge. This is a very interesting world gen. Oh, that looks like another one. It has to be. What in the heck? Here, can I... Okay, yeah, I can kind of see a little bit deeper in there when I use my demon scythe. Okay, okay. Try to do this to you, but gotta drain the water. Ah, hold it. Okay. So how many of these are there? Wow, that's another one. This is a very interesting thing to put inside of a world. You did good, Red. You did really darn good. And now we are now on top of the Lizard Temple. Hi, Lizard Temple. You're all a bunch of nerds. Uh. Ooh. That's a really interesting potion. Teleports you to a random location. I want to hold on to that. Just for funzers. <laughs> okay. Great. Now I want to get on top of that tree, but it's going to be impossible without digging through the other one. Yeah. It would appear so. Darn it. Sorry about this. I don't like harming trees. That goes against my nature. Okay, what the heck? Um, flame lash? Yep, the entrance is right there. I see. We can use this to get a better visual on the tree, though. Alright, sorry about this. Again. Ta-da! What in the heck is that? It better not be another Hermes boot stripped off. Wild flower boots, equivocal. Flowers grow on grass you walk on. Whoa! That looks fun. Okay, that's new. That's very new. Very intuitive. I like it. Now what the heck are we going to do with all this living rich mahogany? Okay, that's a traveling version. I guess that means we should probably get going. Yep. It's been real. See ya. 32 gold coins out of that. We now have 4 gosh darn platinum. Enjoy your stay in there, buggy. Sluggy. Sorry. 
Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Is it a material? Nope. Power boots. Well, let's test them out. This is very pretty. Do I need any more flat grass? This isn't enough. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, I can't put this painting anywhere. Or maybe I can. That looks fine. Let's go to the flat area above the lake. That always works. <laughs> That's so pretty. That's a really good way to plant grass. That's great. That's freaking great. Or a good way to plant flowers, rather. This is totally fine, though. I love it. Alright. Great stuff. Great stuff. We're going to be making a house out of rich mahogany, then. For the witch doctor. I don't know how this is going to be possible, though, but anything can happen. We're going to have to be... We're going to have to go cut down some acorns. No, get some acorns, cut down some rich mahogany trees. Oh. We're out of acorns, aren't we? I cannot find them. Oh, wait, no, they're probably in the plant chest. Please be so. Hello, acorns. Alright, we got business to do. To the jungle! <laughs> what the heck was that? I'll just go ahead and turn my heart green for the time being, because, you know, we're in the jungle. I now have an orange slime hook. A sand slime hook, it looks like. Slime comes in many forms, my friend. We. Right this way, sir. Okay. The jungle is here. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Let's get to cutting. I'm feeling we're gonna need a lot of rich mahogany. I'd like to see a living rich mahogany furniture set. That would be just swell. That, that, that was my 500 blue slime. What in the heck? Was that necessary? I'll just stop it here. Why not? Gosh darn it, I love the meteor hammocks. It's so good. 125 rich mahogany. That is good enough. It's gotta be. They no longer drop, or they don't drop acorns, which makes me a little bit cranky, but I'll get used to it. And for the time being, let's put the teleportation, teleportation potion over here. Oh yeah, I also got a snowball launcher from the Flinxes. I was looking for that forever on my other character. What a world. Blueberries. Now we don't need that. Blue dye. Yes. This stuff is good. And now... I don't even know what now. Well... I know it's not a thing. Perhaps a living loom can do well. Maybe. Well, let's just ask the guide if we can make anything out of living rich mahogany. Or at least normal mahogany. Uh, nope. 
There does not seem to be a living set. This doesn't look like it. It's fine. I, I can make a lot of stuff out of rich mahogany anyway. It'll be fine. It'll be great. Rainbow campfire. I was trying. I cannot wait to make some of that stuff. Okay. We'll be fine. So how is this gonna look? Uh, how is this gonna work out? Unfortunately, I'm gonna get rid of this table. Sorry. I just realized the table is certainly not big enough for that. Or it's too big for that. Let's slap this table back down here. Put the candelabra back. And the book. Alright. Yep, our first underground home. Let's do it. Hmm, I don't know how we're going to make this. But I'll find a way. I would assume that the house would start here. This is just an, as an example. Because I'm very used to making underground homes. I would like a nice, pretty, spacious place for the Witch Doctor. Or wherever the heck else decides to move in before the Witch Doctor does. What's the party girl move in first? That'll make me very cranky. And... Okay, one more. Yeah, one more block. Very good. We're gonna whip out our hammer. The hammer is such a beautiful thing to have. You have no idea. Put on auto cursor and watch that thing destroy that wall. work around here. Excellent. Just gotta get the ceiling and that'll be it. Dun 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 dun. Congratulations, we did it. We done it. Whatever. Now let's, uh, let's grab our wands. How is this going to look? I'm just widening out this place by one block all around, so that way I can place the living rich mahogany in there, and the living leaves. I really should be making a tree above ground, but come on. The original living rich mahogany is underground. And I want to be respectful to it. If that makes any sense. Okay, let's look at the leaf wand, for example. C could I... Put that there? Yes, I can. Okay, as an example. And then... Oh boy, that looks pretty. I did not even... I forgot to talk to the traveling merchant. Now I feel really bad. Oh, jeez. How will I ever live with myself? Hmm. And then more leaves. That looks pretty. Let's just do this. Yeah, let's make it look a teensy bit more natural, even though I don't think it can possibly get natural at this point. Yay. And then, I don't know, how about some random roots 
down here or something. Just something to make it, you know, slightly natural. I know it's not going to work this way, but, you know. I'm really bad at this. I cannot see down there. Good thing I have this little heart light. Yeah, you know what? Let's just call that done. It's not the ba it, it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. I might say I'm actually kind of proud of this. Anyway. And now just the good old regular stuff. The rich mahogany walls. Very important. Let's go craft that stuff right now. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of walls for this. It's a pretty big house. Heart, get. There we go. I realize I can just start flying in order to make all of my summons just automatically follow me. Oh, my imp disappeared. There goes the buff. I'm not sure if that just happened, but I just realized it now, so. Excuse me. Okay, we're almost done. Love that sound. Let's see here. We're almost done. Giving them walls. There we go. You know what? I just realized. I'm probably about to feel very stupid because there probably is a living rich mahogany wall that I can just pillage off the tree back in the jungle. Oh jeez, I'm about to be very upset. I am about to be very upset that I just wasted all this wood for nothing. Oh jeez, don't be cruel to me. Please don't be cruel. Please. Please. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. This is, uh... This is gonna be good. In the meantime, let's just craft our furniture. Uh... I'll try something different today. Two lanterns. And I shall also grab a sofa made out of silk. We want our witch doctor to be very happy, you know. That looks like enough. Yeah, it's enough for a sofa. Which mahogany sofa? It looks very pretty, actually, with the deep blue. And then which mahogany dresser, I guess? Dresser. Wow, we have just enough to spare. Almost. That was great. Yep, that can be placed right there. Very, very good. Nice. This is good, right? Yeah, it feels like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, the right walls. Oh gosh darn it. Say it ain't so. 
I cannot believe I'm going back to the jungle like this. I cannot believe it. Bunny, go. Darn it. Can't you see? I'm trying to do something here. something special with some NPCs when it's a full moon? <sighs> I have to remember. Anyway, let's get back down there. Quickly! We don't have all day. I'm taking way too much time on this. Salamander. Go kill the salamander. There's several, there's several different colors of salamander, but they don't drop anything, it seems. Anyway, I'm gonna mess up this person. You know the power of the bats. Okay, well, here it is. Oh, gosh. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, hey, another salamander. Uh, slime, take care of it. Slime. Much better. Anyway. Yeah, he didn't drop anything. This looks like normal living wood wall. But I cannot be too sure. Uh, I don't want to have to ruin this place, but... Living wood wall. Sigh. We don't even have enough freaking living wood to cover that house. What am I even doing? This is disappointing. Yeah. That's, uh... That's it? Uh, it's all living wood wall. We could just get more from the tree down there, but I don't want to have to ruin everything. Okay, we'll make this different. That house is going to have two different kinds of walls. Yeah, that's how I'll go about doing it. In the meantime, let's just put away this coin. So, let me just check the shops. Okay, nothing special. Oh yeah, fishing quest. Caught on the surface. Oh, let's, very easy. Let's go do that right now. take care of this while we still can. It's a very healthy sized lake, so I'm very happy that we have it. And yet we covered it a very long time ago when we first started this game. Gosh darn it. Give me something good. I need the bunny fish. It's so cute. Darn it, I wasted a worm. I think we'll be here for a while. Darn it, now it's daytime and the quest is reset. Now I'm really upset. I was just grunting. Caverns. Fishotron. That's hilarious. Okay, we'll deal with that in a moment, though. We're just gonna cut down the middle of this wall. Yeah.
That looks fine, right? Right. Nice little tree bark to build up from. That's how a tree grows. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. But you get the idea. I'll be putting that away then. Yeah. This housing is still suitable, right? Actually, it's looking more natural now that I put these walls there. That is very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, then. Let's go catch our Fishatron. We need to catch more worms. I hope it rains again. And soon. This is a good, healthy size of a lake, right? We are technically in the cavern layers now, right? Trying to stop breaking the line. Are you kidding me? Stink fish, really. Fishatron! Happy. Well, hello, Bryson. Bryce, sorry. Angler pants, well, I finally got that. You are in my way. <gasps> the witch doctor has arrived. I am a happy camper. Hey, witch doctor, look at me, look. I have minions. Be proud of me. Notice me, senpai. Choose wisely, Hugthulu. My commodities are volatile, and my dark arts mysterious. Oh, boy. Check out all those fountains. Uh, they, uh, they change the way the fountains look. That's awesome, though. I like it. We're gonna have to change the area around this tree into mud and jungle grass if we want him to sell the special items in hard mode. It's very important. Imbuing station. We're not really going to need this. But let's buy it anyway. Ooh. Spooky. I'm so happy we got the Witch Doctor now. That is a lot of pre-hard mode NPCs, if I do say so myself. Well, this is great. I'm proud. I'm very proud. I'm going to put away all of our dyes for now, though. We're going to need to make... What's it called? The uh, gradient dyes. Those are apparently the most important ingredients for finding the, uh, you know, the rainbow dyes, which are very important to me. Let's see here. Nope. Open that chest. So we can see everything we can make. Yellow gradient die. Cyan gradient die. Excellent. Darn it, that's a lot. Darn it, that's also a lot. We have one more gradient that we should be making, apparently. Ah, uh, yeah. We're missing purple die, which is caught from the... the purple little snail dude in the ocean with his mucus and stuff. That's adorable. I wonder how this, this die looks. Look how pretty that looks on the heart. Wow. It looks like Fun Dip. Mm, I love Fun Dip. What about this dude? Oh, he looks really cool. Oh, my slime hook. Okay, that's boss. That's boss. Okay. I don't even want to dye my equips anymore. I just want to I just want to dye my special stuff. <laughs> what about this one? This one looks great, right? Well, yes, it does. I almost look like a real dinosaur with this now. Hmm. My familiar shirt does not want to die. Oh, well. Okay, what's next? <laughs> Silly pet. He 
now my heart looks like a fruit. <laughs> Hi, B. Adorable. My slime hook, also adorable. Okay. He looks like a life fruit. I should just have a little life fruit bouncing around. Anyway, blue gradient, whatever. How does my slime look with that? That is majestic. That's also majestic. I think it looks best on my hook, though. I mean, look at that. And for now, let's just slap this on... Hmm. How would it look on everything else? This is fine, honestly. Or you know what? Maybe a little bit on my, uh... How about this for a change? Uh, now let's take a look at where it goes here. Nope, does not work at all on my familiar stuff. Hmm. This is fine though. Makes me happy. Alright, comrades. Let's go to the ocean. We don't have all day, I understand. Interesting how we almost already collected all the dyes in this game. Alright, though, let's just get some blueberries. We don't want to actually run out of dye completely. We want to make multiple rainbow dyes, because rainbow is a really good color. I don't care what you got to say about it. Alright, there's supposed to be a pink cactus flower. Yeah, we only ever found one of those, which is, makes me very sad, because they're so darn hard to find. They almost never grow. Yeah, if we find marigolds and stuff, we'll just pick them up. Oh, we can. That is some cool looking slime hook. And there is a sky blue flower over here somewhere, right? That would be correct. Hello, marigold. Hmm. That tree has not grown yet. That makes me sad. Where's my sky blue flower? There it is. It looks super pretty, just like my minions. Aw, how sweet. You know, if you really like trying to set the ocean on fire, or you just like to set bodies of water in general on fire. Because putting things on fire always solves the problem. Well, if you say so. Oh, Marigold. I really want to make a palm tree house. We'll probably do that for the pirate later on. Alright. We're just going to sit here and farm for stuff, I guess. Let's make some sticky glow sticks. That looks fine. How long are we going to be mob farming, though? Jeez. We didn't quite fully explore this ocean yet, for obvious reasons. I mean, it's just an ocean. It's not necessary. Could have either been a crab or a snail. That was a crab. How unfortunate. That's a jellyfish. I suppose we'll be farming here for a little bit. While I wait for this uh, purple snail to show up. You know, honestly though, the, the hornets are the best at that. So you know what? You can take a break, Slime and Imp. You're gonna tire yourselves out. Hornet power! Now that's the power of the swarm. Haha! <laughs> I look pretty cool with four hornets. Four hornets. Yeah. I'm just gonna recharge this once in a while. Oh, 
It's funny because Hornets can't swim, but I'm relying on that on them for underwater missions. Poor pink jellyfish. That's a grab. I think I should just end this episode here, considering that there's kind of not much else to do here. Hmm. That's a shark. And he's after me. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll just run like this. It'll be fun. That's a squid. Alright. This'll be fine. Yeah. I'll just sit here in front for a little bit. Might as well not get too boring. Oh, guys. This is Sai Hugthulu and his swarm of Hornet Resistance members. Playing Terraria 1.3. It's been a great episode, and we shall see you on the next one. Goodbye, my friends.